Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. How you lot doing? Good? Sweet. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to Football Therapy, and welcome to another transfer news video for Chelsea Football Club. A few updates to go through today and a few stories. Some exciting ones and more and more intriguing as the frailties throughout this Chelsea squad are becoming more and more apparent. Now, although I do subscribe to the theory that Chelsea do need to do some more coaching within their current squad, if they really want to stay towards the top echelons of the Premier League, they should bolster that squad. So I'm going to be covering a few stories today with a few exciting players and telling you a few updates that I've seen across the media. Before we get into the video, a reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy if you are indeed new to the channel for daily Chelsea Football Club videos. Click the subscribe button, click the bell notifications icon, and if you want to help me out, click the like button. Right then, the first story is regarding the Frenchman Ousmane Dembele, formerly of Dortmund, now of Barcelona. Was awesome at Dortmund, hasn't been too great at Barcelona, Throughout the last couple of seasons, there has been exit rumours for the young man. Obviously a very talented and kind of mercurial winger wide forward. Won the World Cup, generally can score excellent goals every now and again. Apparently, Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya went to go and meet with Dembele's agent. Apparently his agent's been meeting with City, PSG and Chelsea. Granovskaya went to discuss a possible January transfer. Sounds exciting, right? He's an absolute Galactico level name but Barcelona aren't too happy with this. Apparently they wouldn't entertain selling him until the summer, but maybe if a big bid comes in for him from a player that they're not really using or they haven't really utilized, maybe they could be tempted. Barcelona brought in Ousmane Dembele when Neymar left a couple of seasons ago and they spent 138 million pounds. So, so, so much money for a guy who yes, had a wicked season at Dortmund, but definitely has really failed to fulfill his potential away in Spain. The 22 year old Frenchman has only got one goal this season, but last La Liga campaign he did manage to score eight goals and also get five assists. Still, it's nothing really like the season he had at Dortmund when he bought him. Maybe he was a bit of a one season wonder, maybe, but that season in Germany he had 18 league goal involvements before the Spanish Giants picked him up. When it comes to Dembele, there is a question about his like attitude. Apparently he's one of these footballers that just stays up all night playing Fortnite. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude, I was like 21, 22 once. Not that long ago. Anyway, um, you know, young people want to play games, but apparently for a professional footballer who earns so much money, who was worth so much money, he had a poor attitude, and maybe that's not something that Chelsea needs. Certainly not something that Frank Lampard will look to. Still, he's an amazingly talented player, and if Chelsea figured out some sort of deal that suits them, he could be an exciting signing. Who knows? Watch this space. Right, moving on to the next story, and it's another Nathan Aki update. Chelsea have a £40 million buyback clause. Chelsea also have loads of problems in their defence. <laughs> something that I've always maintained in football therapy is that Chelsea don't necessarily have bad defenders, they're just doing bad defending. Now that could come down to poor chemistry between the personnel and it would perhaps require new personnel for it to work. Zuma and Christensen did look awful last time out, but Chelsea still are waiting for Antonio Rudiger to come back in, who looks like he's pretty much ready to come back in now. He only played 45 minutes this season and he looked very, very good. The narrative before the season started and certainly throughout the season while he's been injured is Antonio Rudiger is Chelsea's best defender. He's the most senior figure, even though he's still quite young, and he's, you know, quite a talented player. He's put on some great displays for Chelsea over the last couple of years. It kind of seems like Chelsea's defence lacks a senior figure. Now, Nathan Ake is only 24 years old, but he's still older than both Tomori and Christensen. And Ake has a wealth of Premier League experience, at Bournemouth now. He definitely acts as a leader at the back and he very much is a very strong and competent central defender. Let's not forget also Nathan Ake is a very very versatile player indeed. He can play centre back in a two, in a three, he can play left back, left wing back. Frank Lampard who often changes shape mid-game, he'll see that and he'll be like hmm I'll have a bit of that but first and foremost you need to be able to rely on your central defenders to be sensible and to clear the ball when it comes in. Personally, I think a central defence partnership of both Nathan Ake and Antonio Rudiger would be a very, very good one. There's an argument made that Ake is actually Bournemouth's best player. Maybe he'd come back to Chelsea again, even though he keeps getting pushed out to Bournemouth, brought back, sold to Bournemouth, brought back, and I think he likes Bournemouth, but if you say to him, look man, you're gonna be a starting centre-back in Frank Lampard's project for a top team, for a Champions League team, 
Do you want it? He might fancy it. Remember, he does know all the other youngsters as well at the club. Personally, if Chelsea have the money and Frank Lampard is frustrated with his centre-backs, maybe they do it. The issue is Frank Lampard spent a lot of time convincing Kurt Zuma to stay at Chelsea that he really wanted him when Zuma didn't think maybe he'd get the game time and he'd like to be sold to Everton. I mean, looking at Everton now, he's probably happy he didn't, but with Rudiger being the best defender, him promising Zuma all this game time, and Tamori just generally being his boy, you think Christensen might be the old one out here. Still, £40 million is very, very reasonable. I'm sure other Premier League clubs would buy Nathan Ake for maybe more, but Chelsea have first dibs and it's £40 million for them. So watch this space and I'll keep you updated on the Nathan Ake to Chelsea story. Right, an update on Jadon Sancho. Although Sancho is seemingly having a lovely time away at Dortmund again, scoring goals, celebrating with his teammates, he is generally, apparently, a want-away player. He felt like he's been scapegoated a couple of times by Dortmund and he's been fined recently by the coach and generally he feels un underappreciated and are sometimes unwanted, whether it's being left on the bench or not being protected in front of the media. Sancho had an amazing season for the Germans last season, breaking a record for the youngest player to get to 15 goals in the Bundesliga. And he's an English winger. I always think it would be a German striker, like a young German striker. Superb. Anyway, I'm digressing. Apparently he's having a bad season this season, yet he's already got loads of goals and assists. If he truly is a one-to-way player, then Chelsea should be a destination he wants to go to. It's been spoken about on this channel before, but he's obviously very, very close with Callum Hudson-Odoi, and indeed Tammy Abraham as well, where he grew up in the same area, and is a self-proclaimed Chelsea fan who idolised Frank Lampard growing up. He might fancy a return to London, playing at Chelsea and playing with his friends. It's been reported that Chelsea are allegedly happy to start the bidding at £100 million this January and give that straight to Dortmund to bring the young Englishman to West London. Personally, I don't think Dortmund will play ball with that. Ousmane Dembele went for £138 million, and I think Jadon Sancho is probably more highly rated. Not that they're going to ask for like £160 million, but it's going to be very difficult to prime away unless the player himself goes to the club and says, can I leave, please? Watch this space. I will, of course, keep you updated with any Jaden Sancho to Chelsea stories. Keep it locked to football therapy. Next up, Ben Chilwell. Chilwell has been linked to Chelsea more and more and more, especially as it looks like that left-back position is a glaring vulnerability for Chelsea at the moment. And like Brendan Rodgers, it would look near impossible to bring him away from Leicester mid-season. I'm talking about Arsenal, by the way. So I figured, well, this is going to be a world record fee for a defender, you know, something absolutely silly that Leicester wouldn't expect Chelsea to play so they could just wave him away. But it's been reported that a fee of £70 million is the required sum from the Foxes. Now for me, that's very doable. Sure, that would be a world record fee for a fullback, but I thought it was going to be a world record fee for a defender generally. Like more than Maguire, like 90, 100 million. Not just because Chilwell is in second place in the Premier League and is integral to a title challenge and it's in the middle of the season and it's a Premier League team selling to a Premier League team. Just because he's really, really good. <laughs> 70 million, although seems like loads and loads of money, considering all the circumstances and how much Chelsea would need him, I think they should rip their hands off. I think Chilwell at 70 million would be a much better deal than Harry Maguire at 80 million and taking Chilwell away from Leicester in January rather than Harry Maguire in the summer would hamstring Leicester way more. Leicester brought in Soyuncu and they've arguably been better but you can't really replace Ben Chilwell, especially in January. So if those reports are to be believed, I think Chelsea should absolutely go for that. And the final story is sticking in the left back position. It's talking about a potential Marcus Alonso exit. Alonso, Premier League winner, FA Cup winner with the Blues, is now third choice left back in a club that has pretty much two left backs. It's rumoured that in the summer he could be back off to Italy to seek a return with previous Chelsea coach Antonio Conte at Inter Milan. This makes sense, he could be a first choice left wing back for Inter rather than being a third choice left back for Chelsea. Conte looks like he could win the Scudetto this season and do a lot of great things at Inter. He's obviously worked with Conte before and has played in Italy. It just makes way too much sense. Chelsea should be able to make their money back on him. You know, he's won a Premier League, he's won an FA Cup, he scores loads of goals. He knows Conte's system and there'll be a bit more, you know, monetary worth in that. Chelsea should absolutely be able to work something out with Inter Milan. Happy days for everyone. Thank you very much for your service, Marcus Alonso. You've been great. Thank you for the goals and free kicks. So there you have it, the updated news stories for today. What do you think? Get down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on each player and story that I've spoken on 
in this video. Also guys, make sure you do subscribe to Yan Plays. Link is in the, the top of the description. If I can still talk, it's a FIFA gaming channel. Well, it's just a gaming channel where I'm playing Chelsea career mode on FIFA at the moment. Make sure you do check it out. Click the link in the top of the description. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new. Follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, Instagram, Twitter. I can't talk anymore. I'm ending the video. You lot enjoy the football. Jesus, I'm literally malfunctioning. Enjoy the football. I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline it chalk. In my life seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry I don't. I love me baby.